Chase Hudson just opened up about how much he hated his body growing up, and we have all the details. I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Tony Morris, and this is What's Hot on Hollywire. Chase, little huddy, Hudson is the king of TikTok, co-founder of the Hype House, dating the most followed person on TikTok, Charlie D'Amelio. It seems like this 17-year-old really has it all. But according to little huddy, life hasn't always been that easy. Hudson recently opened up on a very raw post on Instagram about how he struggled with his body image for a long time. I love when celebrities do this mm -hmm. because I think otherwise we just see them as these glossy photos and we think like everything is perfect That's and right. I think when a public figure opens up about this, it makes us feel more comfortable about talking about our own issues with our friends and trusted ones. Definitely. I think when I was younger, I had a little bit of the body image too thing where it was like skinny, right. in -game, in -game chest, but then I started working out. Okay, so but I now guess- now I got it again. <laughs> little Huddy, just hit the gym, okay? No, I got it again now, you know? So yeah, I'm a little- I know what you mean, because well, it's so funny because I feel, I mean, and that's definitely like a gender roles thing that I feel like mm -hmm. men are uh, shamed if they are not like super buff and big, while women are shamed if they are too big. So this message comes with a black and white photo of the self-proclaimed e-boy in the shot. Little Huddy is holding the sides of his face, showing his dark nails with a look like it's all too much. His caption reveals that Hudson has been body shamed since he was a little boy, and because of that, he grew up hating everything about the way that he looked. So sad to hear, especially now. I mean, he is like a heartthrob. Like everyone loves him and thinks he's so cute. So it's so sad to think that- He's gonna grow into a very good looking, charming, charming oh, man. Oh, hell so. yeah. But yes. Yes. I completely understand that, you know, everybody has like, they, they, they don't perceive themselves. They perceive themselves, like, they're always critical of themselves. Well, you're, 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 you're your you're, harshest you're, critic, yeah, always, yeah, always, always. And then it doesn't help if you're your harshest critic and then people are bullying you in addition to that. that doesn't and you're help just that. like, great. Chase goes on to confess that I was bullied and made fun of since I was in middle school for my appearance. I was told to eat. I was told I looked like bones or that I was a twig. Hudson explained that the reason he is sharing this with his 6.5 million fans on Instagram is that he wants to help everyone out there who has body image issues. As the TikToker explained, the message goes out to all the people that struggle with body shame to let you know that you are not alone. And I love this because I think, you know, boys, girls, whatever gender you identify with, it's important to know that like, you know, they're just words what other people say to you and don't let it get to you and that you are your own unique, beautiful self. He has fans all over the world. Yeah. And he has probably fans all over the world that have Issues. this type of issue. Yeah. And so he's, he can, this is good. This is good for them to understand that their icon is, even has it. I would argue that there are less people in this world who wake up every day and look in the mirror and, and love everything about them than people that are critical about themselves. Because yeah. everyone has their own insecurities about their body image, which we need to work on crushing. Yeah, I just have a little post-it stamp right there and it says, you look good. You're killing it. You're killing it. So Hudson then directed his fans to stopbullying.gov, a website that provides people with information on how to get help if you or someone you know is a victim of bullying. This is not the first time that a TikToker has opened up about getting bullied. Recently, the D'Amelio sisters opened up about their experiences getting cyberbullied as part of UNICEF's For Every Child campaign. I love when celebrities use their platform for social awareness. I think it's so key for oh, doing things like this. They're Charlie serious. is like, she's great at this. She's so good at it. I mean, she was talking about it when she was on Fallon. Yeah. Because, I mean, she was someone who was just, a, one day was a normal girl, like just like any of us, and then woke up the next morning to literally an overnight sensation. And, but she remembers that when she wasn't famous, that even kids at school would be commenting mean things on her photos. And then when she was famous, obviously that became more and more. It's interesting because her career, they're probably asked her, what are you gonna do next? What's yeah. your next move? Are you gonna be a movie star? Are you gonna be an actress? Are you gonna be a singer? And I see her doing just, straight up helping out society. Like yeah. she is like always, or doing dance challenges that actually are like donating towards uh, towards quarantine. Like her distance dance challenge. Distance dance, yeah. she is like literally, that's what she's doing. That's what she's doing. And, and, and I feel like when you, with having that many followers has a responsibility and some people do not like utilize that responsibility, but Charlie and Chase are definitely examples of people that are using their responsibility to create a positive message, which is so great to see, it really is. Love that. Have you guys ever been bullied? How do you deal with the haters? Let us know. I'm Gabby Conti. I'm Tony Morris, and follow us at Hollywire for your celebrity 24-7 news.